Okay guys, what's up? It's Nick from MyGreatIphone.com and yesterday I did post a video up on YouTube um, answering some questions on the new 3.1.3 firmware which device you can jailbreak on that firmware and just a few more little things but today I'm actually going to follow that video up with a tutorial on how to jailbreak the 3.1.3 firmware Now this goes for the iPod Touch 1st gen the iPod Touch 2nd gen non-MC model so the older 2G the iPhone 2G the iPhone 3G and the iPhone 3GS old boot ROM. So if you have a new boot ROM, this won't work. Just so, just to specif specify, <laughs> specify which devices it doesn't work for. It doesn't work for the iPod Touch 2G MC model, so the newer iPod Touch second gen. It doesn't work for the iPod Touch third gen, and it doesn't work for the iPhone 3GS new boot ROM. So please make sure you know which device you have and then come back to this video when you have the correct device that will work with this jailbreak on Snowbreeze. So, of course you could have to be jailbroken for this. Um, if you're on 3.1.2 firmware, then you might have done it with Black Rain or Red Snow, and if you're on 3.1.3, then you would have done it with Red Snow. So I'm just going to show you that I'm on. I'm jailbroken, as you can see. Let me just close that. <laughs> I'm jailbroken, and we're going to go to General, About, and now I'm on 3.1.2. And I'm going to go down to my baseband right here, and you can see 0.5.11. Now, this is great. Um, Snowbreeze is great because it does preserve your baseband. So, if you're an iPhone 3G or 3GS user um, and you rely on an unlock, then this is great because it will preserve your baseband, meaning then that you can then update to 3.1.3 with Snowbreeze and then unlock your device, which you wouldn't have been able to do before as it does change the baseband. You can unlock that with Black Snow, which is great. So if you're an iPhone 3G or 3GS user and you rely on unlock, it preserves your baseband, which you can then go and unlock your device with Black Snow in Cydia. So, without the way, we're going to close out and we're going to go to the computer. Okay, so as you can see here, I have two things right here. I've got Snowbreeze and I've got my firmware. I'm going to give you links in the description. Um, to two websites where you can get Snowbreeze and also the firmware. So make sure you download the firmware for your correct device, download the 3.1.3 firmware and also download Snowbreeze. So we're going to open up Snowbreeze now. Click run. Okay, so as you can, it just tells you a little message thing here. You click OK and you click next. We're going to go expert mode. Now we're going to browse for IPSW file, so make sure you downloaded the correct one. And I save mine here, so iPhone 3GS 3.1.3. So we're going to click that one and we're going to open it up. So it's going to process the firmware now. Okay, so it understands I have a 3GS and if I have the new boot ROM. Then I will not, will not be able to use Snowbreeze. So we can click next. Now we can click general. And now I'll click the next button here. And it will ask if you want to activate the iPhone, which I don't because I'm on a legit SIM card. If you're not, you can activate it here. You can make the IPSW NOR only, which is just to change the boot logos and not jailbreak. And you can also add the Snowbreeze app and change the root partition size so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to click next so if you rely on unlock for the iPhone 2G users you can install boot new to here and for the iPhone 3G and 3GS users you can install black snow from here as well I rely on a legit I don't rely on the um, sim cards I'm on the legit one so I'm not going to unlock and I'm also just going to install Cydia and not Rock, but you can choose which one you want to install, or you can in install both, like so. Okay, so we're going to click Next. I'm not going to add any apps, but you can add app sources and other stuff. I am going to change my boot logo. If you want to change your boot logo, make sure it's a 320 by 480 pixels and it's under uh, 100 kilobytes, or at 100 kilobytes at the most. I'm going to browse for my boot logo, so it's right there. So there's my boot logo. I like the recovery logo, so I'm actually going to keep that one the same. And we're going to click next. 
Okay, so once you click next, it will come back to the home page. You're now going to click build IPSW. This is where you just create it. You will now click next and it will start to build your IPSW. Now this could take a while. Um, not sure how long, but it will take a while depending on what stuff you've added. So if you added more sources or packages, then it will take longer than normal. But I'm actually going to come back when it's finished or just about to finish um, building the IPSW and then we can move on from there. Okay guys, it's almost done. So we're just going to wait for it to finish. Creating IPSW. So guys, this can take some time to build it depending on what stuff you put in, but just be patient with it. Okay guys, so it's done and we can just click OK and close out of Snowbreeze. So, once you've done it, it will save it to your desktop. So we can close that now. And um, it should say Snowbreeze and then whatever device you've got. So mine says iPhone 3GS. So, once we've got that, we can move that out. Open up iTunes, guys. And make sure your device is connected by USB, of course. So mine's right there, connected. And um, we are now going to go and shift restore on iTunes. So wait for your device to pop up. Okay, so then click on your device. And it will take you to here. So you simply want to shift, shift key, restore, shift, restore. And it will pop up with this. And you just want to find wherever your custom firmware is saved. So there's the iPhone 3GS one. We're going to open that up. And it will now start to extract the software and restore your device. Now again, this could take some time. So I will... Um, be back when it is nearly finished ok so it's nearly done it's just verifying the iPhone software right now will it restore ok guys so it's done there's my boot logo right there we can click ok in iTunes and we can even close out in iTunes if you want so it's just going to boot up now Again, my boot logo, so that worked. Okay, so of course, I'm um, on the Gypsum card side so now. Activate my phone in iTunes, so I'm going to unplug it in iTunes um, for my laptop and then plug it in again, make iTunes pop up, and now I will activate my phone. So I'll be back when I've activated. Okay, so there, as you can see, there it says phone is activated. We've got the snow breeze wallpaper and we're just going to slide to unlock. You can dismiss that, scroll across and you can now see we have Cydia and snow breeze. Okay, and just to show you that I'm on the new firmware, I'm going to go to settings, general, about. Scroll down, you can see I'm on 3.1.3 .3, and I'm still on my 5.11 baseband. So that is brilliant guys, so if you're on unlock you can go and head and unlock your device. So there you go. So that is it guys. That is how to jailbreak with Snowbreeze for the 3.1.3 firmware again for the Apple Touch first gen, second gen non MC model, the iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS old boot ROM. This does not work for the iPhone 3GS new boot ROM and it does not work for the Apple Touch 2G MC model and the Apple Touch 3G.